got these tiny, perfect little bottles that appear in the poem. These little glass bottles lined up. And I was like, Melissa, where are these? They were like the size of my pinky. And I was like, where did you get these like perfect cerulean blue tiny glass bottles? And she was like, oh, there's a cave, uh, there's a, a landfill slash cave in, um, yeah, it's Melissa. Uh, in, in northern New York, and it's a landfill that specializes in children's toys from the 20s. <laughs> and you go there, and there's like these little tin toys, and you can find pretty much anything there. And I was just digging through, looking at toys, and there were these little uh, bottles. Uh, and that, that place was called Horseshoe Crab Bay, and they have a motto there which is just flip it. Because if you, <laughs> the, the horseshoe crabs come there to mate, and they, they die. Uh, after they mate there, unless if you go and flip them over and release them back into the wild. So just flip it. The bottles are going to make an appearance to the hands of my painter for Melissa. When you leave my mind, the last pieces of you to leave are your hands. When you go to the earth, the last part of you visible above what is either sand or clay. I don't know which because either everything is water or nothing is water will be your hands. The black goose with your name in its throat and my name in its stomach will cough you up with her hoots. Part jelly, part watch, part bone. Part power, part me. There is a dead language buried in English. There is a word no one remembers for a temple built in instant delight. When you are buried, the word will grow a saw sound from Melissa. Its meaning will change to specify you as the only possible builder no one can speak the language you will rewrite. I, I know this isn't the heaven we wanted. Whatever is. And soon I'll join you amid the terms for tiny bottles of defunct potions and no longer understood passions and together we'll bury our own particular I love you. I have no clue how similar it will be to other phrases that live on in this world, but I take comfort in imagining it. I wouldn't mind it being sealed off with us in our sketch of Earth.